Oh Lord, you know why do we read the Bible daily? Because we want to follow what you say. So while we are following your words, you got many glory from us. Thank God. I just do want to follow you and I want to resemble you. That's my desire or my hope. Thank God with Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to read Bible English. Public. Bind. Brand new. Circumcise. Gentile. Harshly. Household. Instruction. Malicious. Quit. Raise. Labyrinth. Slender. Strive. Sermit. Tenderhearted. Wicked. Willingly. I'm going to read Corinthians 3rd, verse 9. Don't lie to each other, for you have striped off your old evil nature and or its wicked death. In its place, you have cruised yourself with a blended nature that is continually being renewed as you learn more and more about Christ who created this new nature within you. In this in your life, it doesn't matter if you are a Jew or a Gentile, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbaric, uncivilized, slave or free, Christ in all that matter, and he lives um, in all of us. Since God chose you to be the holy people whom he loved, you must cruise yourself with tender-hearted mercy, kindness, humility, Gentile, I'm sorry, gentleness and patience. You must make allowance for each other's fault and forgive the person who offends you. Remember, the Lord forgave you, so you must forgive others. And the most important piece of the uh, clothing so you must wear in love. Love is what binds us uh, so all together in perfect harmony and it's let the peace that uh, come from Christ to rule in your heart for as member of uh, one body you are all called to live in peace and always be thankful let the words of Christ in all their uh, richness live in your heart and make you wise use his words to teach and counsel each other Sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs to God with thankful hearts. And whatever you do or say, let it be as a representative of the Lord Jesus all the while, giving thanks, thoughts, him to God the Father. Instruction for Christians, household, your wives must serve it to your husband as it fitting for those who belong to the Lord, and your husband must love your wives and never treat them harshly. You children must always obey your parents, for this is what pleased the Lord. Father, don't aggravate your children. If you do, they will become discouraged and quit trying. You slaves must obey your earthly master in everything you do. Try to please them all the time, not just do what they are watching you. Obey them willingly because of your labyrinth fear of the Lord. Work hard and cheerfully at whatever you do, as though you were looking or working for for food rather than for the people.